Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are looking at the Deal Rock. Uh, this is a 12-in-1 USB-C hub. And it's got some pretty nice features. Here's the box. Just some simple writing on it. Nothing fancy about the box. Let's get into the hub. Here's your hub. It is made out of aluminum. As you can see, there are two USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, and one C on this side. Now this one is, uh, if it wants to focus in on that, that is a regular USB uh, C 3.0, two 3.0s, two 2.0s on one side. Go around to the other side you have a C charging, two HDMIs, SD and micro SD, and then in the front, you have a one uh, Ethernet cable, and you also have a VGA cable in case you're running it to, say, a projector or uh, something like that, maybe an older legacy monitor uh, this is uh, one gigabits per second, by the way. Um, so all together, uh, it says five USB 3.0 ports, but there's actually uh, two USB 2 and two USB 3. And then, of course, you have the three on this side and the three on the other side. The other, on the other side is charging. Uh, that said... What I wanted this for was I wanted some more ports. Now I use the uh, the older ports for, uh, say, uh, a dongle for the uh, mice and keyboard that I use, wireless mouse and keyboard, or of course a wired keyboard. Um, that said, these would be used for uh, DAC and uh, amplifier uh, combinations and DACs, and uh, of course dongles like the Beam that we're doing, or something of that nature. Um, of course, the C also could be used in that. And the reason why I wanted it is because I wanted more options because the computer that I have is uh, actually lacking in the ports. Uh, it, it actually is, um, it's got two ports on it, two threes and a C, and that's it. Now, that said, this works great for that purpose. There's no ground noise. Uh, it is excellent with that. Um, you just you can actually plug two in, keep one off. Of course, you can't have two running at the same time, but you have one off and you put one on and you can switch. So that means you don't have to keep unplugging and plugging, which I like. Uh, that was the sole purpose to not have to plug in a bunch of things. Now I have a very old powered USB hub, and that actually has noise, so it can't be used for that feature. So that's why I wanted a modern one uh, that was just better overall and uh this one definitely fits the bill and it is metal uh it's got a nice construction it's got a nice uh look to it uh it definitely fits like you know some of the upper end computers maybe max um the only downside of course with a lot all of these basically is this is never removable it's always a fixed c cable on the end of these but this is a very thick sturdy cable it's rubberized uh, should last a while it's just me uh, my older one actually had a removable cable and most of the new ones they don't have removable cables I don't know why they do that other than that there's nothing else I can see it, it's a hub it does its job now you're wondering the VGA um, and the HDMI's can I hook three monitors up to this the answer to that is yes and also no. Now, noted that video is not supported on standard USB-C, meaning these, these won't do anything. Now, uh, you know, I had forgotten about that when I ordered this, and of obviously the cheap laptop that I ordered, it doesn't come with the... Uh, the, the 
proper port to run these. So I was disappointed. I thought I could plug in two HDMIs and then run them to my monitor, which is on the side of me, and my screen, which is in the front of me. And unfortunately, that doesn't work that way. Now, I do have another computer. It's older. It doesn't even have a battery, but it has a lot of powerful features. And um, well, I don't use it. I, I, I don't know why I don't use it. Uh, probably because it's it's running uh, Windows 7, I think, and I don't have a 10 license for it. Um, no, I think I got it up to 8, actually. I got the free upgrade to 8, and, and I really hate 8, uh, quite honestly. 7, uh, even Vista was good. Uh, 7 I didn't like. Uh, no, 7 I liked, excuse me. Uh, 8 I didn't like. 10 was okay. 11 I'm finding I actually like. I mean, we're running actually Windows 11 right there. And, and I'm finding that I like Windows 11. Uh, I like the simplicity and uh, here's the heads up and I'll be doing a review on that when it comes out is that Windows will be bringing back the media player for 11 and it's supposed to have a ton of new features and I can't wait to try it out and see how it works. Uh, so we'll, we'll be reviewing that shortly. Um, the ST works great. Good, good uh, transfer speeds. Um, so this is made for dual monitor. So I'm assuming that maybe you can't have the VGA and the HDMI's, both HDMI's working at the same time. Um, it doesn't say that, but it does say dual monitor. So I'm wondering if just the HDMI's would work or if you can run out the VGA to a, to a projector. Um, needless to say, uh, the charging may work on certain devices. Um, this one being the charger. It depends on what USB type C port you have. Now, uh, the only way that the, this is going to work is if you have a lightning, uh, Thunderbolt, excuse me, not lightning is apples, uh, a Thunderbolt. So if your C has the the lightning symbol you have a thunderbolt uh, 3 port uh, then you'll be able to run the vjs no problem they will actually work my other uh, computer has uh, every type of io you can think of micro um, display ports and hdmi and and thunderbolt i think it might have a thunderbolt 3 but it might be a 2 i'm not 100 percent sure but that thing has a plethora of thing. I don't actually need a hub for that one. Uh, but the fact of the matter is it's old. And uh, you know, I wanted to use a Windows 11. And even that doesn't qualify for the Windows 11 upgrade. Even though the thing has a built-in full-size video card, uh, Core i7 uh, clocked at like 3, I think. I think it was like 3 gigahertz. But anyway, if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port, maybe a 2, I don't know. Uh, these will work fine, and you can literally run uh, two duplicated monitors uh, right off your computer. So that's pretty cool. So it's got some really nice features. It's bigger, it's very solid, and it comes with a bunch of ports. Uh, regardless of whether the HDMI works, you still get the SD, you get the charging port, which should work on most things. You get the other C, you get the 3.0s and the 2.0s. Um, and the Ethernet, which works as well. Um, you know, USB to Ethernet has worked for years. I actually had one hooked up when I had back when I had DSL years ago. Uh, I like that it has rubber feet, solid construction, uh, works good. I'm going to leave a link down below. Price on this one is a little bit more expensive than the other one. Um, this one is $54.99. Uh, from Dio Rock. Essentially, it's the same company that makes the other one. A lot of companies have different products under different names because they're different divisions and stuff. So I'll leave you the link for this if you're interested, if, if this is something you need. Uh, just remember that the HDMIs will only work if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port um, because th that is the only way that it's uh, displayed throughout the thing. Um, my desk is totally getting messy. I gotta clean this up eventually. Uh, got a bunch more things coming. Thank you so much for watching and please be safe.